In my last video, we made thrusters completely and utterly useless using gravity generators. But we didn't go far enough. We need to use the power of gravity to conquer gravity itself. The laws of physics will be mine to command! <clears throat> Let's do a quick recap. Gravity generators create an artificial gravity field which affects players, floating debris, and artificial mass blocks. For whatever reason, you can use gravity generators on mass blocks on the same grid to pull itself along. Doubled by the community the gravity drive, it provides way more thrust than a normal thruster at a fraction of the power cost. Gravity generators exert gravity in a 30 block radius, but this effect also overlaps with other gravity generators. So, just how many g's of gravity can we fit into a space and, more importantly, can you use this gravity to catapult a ship into space? As I mentioned in the last video, gravity generators don't work on planets. So welcome to the moon! As you can see here, I have two gravity generators. Note in the bottom right that I currently have 0.2 g's of gravity. And now if I turn this one on, I get an additional 0.5 artificial gravity for a total of 0.75 g's in total. Now what you can do, if you go to your menu, go to info and then go to gravity range and turn that on and then go to your gravity generator and toggle show on HUD, it will create this square that will show you the range of your gravity generator. So if I repeat the process on the other one, if I toggle that on and then toggle show on HUD, you see I've now got two squares, they overlap. You can see in the bottom right I've got one artificial gravity. And you can see if I move between the gaps in the squares, the gravity goes from 1 to 0.5 and vice versa. So now that we've seen them overlapping, let's take it to the extreme. So this is roughly 3000 gravity generators. And whilst I can't turn the radius on without horribly lagging my game, this 5x5 square here exactly overlaps with all 3,000 of these generators. So if I turn them all on with this button, you can see in the middle I have just over 15,000 Gs of gravity. So if my understanding of math is correct, that means that this should roughly accelerate us at 15,000 meters per second, which is, you know, only 150 times higher than the space game speed limit. This is a demonstration. I'm going to turn my jetpack off and I'm going to show you. So nearly instantly to 100 meters per second. And you can see my gravity ticking down on the right. Once it hits zero, we're outside of the gravity field of the moon. And there you go, we just made it into space. And here's another test with the speed limit disabled. And there we go, we handily made it into space with no jetpack fuel. So Striker has returned, say hello Striker, and he's going to test pilot this new ship I've built. The ship has uh, four mass blocks in it, the centre of mass is right in the centre of it like we looked at last time. And the idea is we're going to send this up, completely gravity propelled, no thrust. So, are you ready Striker? Oh, it's cute that you think you have a choice. So now that that's sorted out, Striker is now in the cockpit, I've put a beacon on the ship. So we'll be able to see how far it goes and we'll get our first test ready, let's go. Three. Two, one, go. Oh my god. Um, striker? That might be an issue. I'll uh, come and pick you up in a minute, alright? <laughs> so I built a second copy of the ship, and this one has hydrogen, so we won't end up in the same situation as poor striker. Alright, three, two, one. And. <laughs> We're in space. <laughs> so there you go, in concept that works. I launched myself from the surface of the moon into space without wasting any of the fuel to get up there. Whilst we're up here, I have another idea we can test. Another quick idea I had was the gravity ring. The idea being of the gravity ring, that you launch from the surface of the planet into space and then use the gravity ring to launch you in the direction you want to go. So this gravity ring is right above the base. It keeps flickering in and out of distance because it's just at a render distance but it's right there, you shoot up, and this one's a bit low. I think I, had, I underestimated how far it would fly me into space, but if it be, you play this this way, you slow down to, and then you fly through it, and it sends you in the direction you wanna go. So I'm gonna to toggle on all these gravity generators, and then you get your ship, you line it up, and oh my God, <laughs> and you fly through it like that. It's got quite a bit of force to it. It's actually flung me so far, I can't actually see where it, it was. Where's it gone? As it has doesn't have as many gravity drives, it can't accelerate us as fast. But it still gets you straight up to nearly 400 meters a second. I kind of slowed down a little bit with the thruster. Just look how fast we're traveling towards the planet. Like, <laughs> we're there in no time. We don't need any fuel to accelerate. We can just turn our engines off and cruise all the way air and then turn them down to land. And there you go. Using the gravity ring, I was able to get to Earth without any fuel whatsoever. Emphasis on got, I uh, wasn't able to land using the landing gear wheels. 
Just a note to all my fellow space engineers, make your ships work before you make them pretty. And I'm pretty sure that's everything for the video, although I'm sure I'm forgetting something.